Ever since I had the vision that God was going to divide our continent for dividing Israel and Jerusalem, I've been keeping tabs on the ongoing workings of a two-state solution and the Gulf of Mexico like a hawk, especially around the Texas coast. I started making Gulf of Mexico dangers last year, and so far my predictions for future weather patterns were spot on. I'll be leaving the links for those videos in the description box for easier access. Over the last three years, I have documented rising sea floors and temperatures in the Gulf, as well as the fish deaths and flesh-eating virus attacks every June for three years in a row. I remarked that if the world's volcanoes were erupting, then the undersea volcanoes should be experiencing issues as well, including the Gulf of Mexico. Not long ago, a quake was spotted right off the tip of Texas adjacent to Brownsville. I knew then that we were reaching some kind of brink. As of today, a strange air temperature anomaly was spotted in the Gulf and reported by Mr. MBB333 that was reaching a temperature last noted at 133 degrees Fahrenheit. If the air is that temperature, then you can imagine what the water underneath is like. The Gulf of Mexico is full of craters, and there is one solid reason that can prevail as to why. Earlier eruptions. In fact, the temperature anomaly is situated over a crater, a crater that was likely caused by a rising seafloor and then rapid deflation with an occurring eruption. This brings to mind the possibility of a sudden and unexpected tsunami in the near future. It isn't like this just began. The floor of the Gulf of Mexico has been going through an almost silent transformation over the last three years. Just a heads up, be safe, and I'll be in touch soon.